Hello what's up peeps this is the Geek Artist back again with another video and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the UG S1060 pen tablet which the lovely folks over at UG have been kind enough to send me and it's designed to work well with your phone so make sure to stay back till the end of the video cause I'll be using this tab to paint something cool. Alright, so here it is, nicely covered with bubble wrap. Let me cut it open with my paper cutter. And here it is, plain and simple, minimalist packaging design. A lot like the last Vague Vola L pen tablet I had reviewed. It comes with the usual 8192 pressure levels, tilt, but it doesn't mention the angle, it's usually 60 degree and 10 inch working area which is pretty standard for medium sized drawing tabs. From the price point it's on the really cheap end, it's on Amazon for around 4.9k Indian rupee which is around 60 US dollars. So I'd recommend this for beginners and students who want to start out with a decent budget drawing tab. You can find the purchase link down in the description below if you want to grab it at a discounted price. Now let's open the box, I'll cut the seal open. And here it is. Let's take the tab out of the box and keep it aside while we check out the accessories. So in here we have the warranty card, the cable and adapters, the pen and nibs. And that's it. I must say I'm a bit bummed out that they don't give any pen case or stand like some of the similar range starter tabs by Vake and Huion that I reviewed previously. Anyway, so let's get these out of the package. Here's the warranty document, quick guide for setup, another quick guide for mobile setup because this is very compatible with uh, mobile phones and it's meant to be used vertically while using with phone. Cool beans. Now let's take a closer look at the pen. Let's get that out of the plastic cover and focus in on it. And that's quite light. Sturdy nib. Nice. Next up we have this ring thingy for replacing the nibs. Let's see how that works. Nice. No struggle at all. Now to put it back in with a gentle tab and it's set. The two buttons seem just a little on the tougher side. I guess you'll get used to it with time. And here are the extra nibs, about 10 or 11, plus the one inside the pen. These will last you a lifetime. <laughs> And here we have the two adapters for your phone, the C type and the older B type in case you have a much older phone. Here's the main cable, standard C type to universal USB cable. Let's connect the adapter and now we have a C type to C type. The cable seems long enough. Now let's keep all these aside and take a closer look at the tab. Let's get rid of the cover. The adhesive is really sticky. And here it is. It has all the keys on the top, around 10 keys, 5 on each side. Let me clear up some space here. The surface somehow seems a bit used and scratchy. Way too glossy. Oh wait, it's just a protective plastic cover. My bad. I'll peel it off later. Let's see how this pen holder holds up. Just gotta force it in a bit. Well, it's meant to be tight, nice. The keys are all clickable, not very rigid. They're all right. Let's take a look at the back side, matte finished but not heavily textured. Instead they have these two rubber linings for grip. Let's test it. And yeah, they hold up pretty great. Good grip indeed. By the way, you must have noticed that this is my new setup and my new studio. And if you're wondering what I'm using for my top-down shoe setup, I'm using the Bolavia Overhead Video Tablet Stand Phone Holder. It's really sturdy and it can even carry the weight of my 11-inch iPad Pro which is pretty heavy. You can get it from the purchase link in the description down below. Alright, now let's peel the cover off. 
Oh man, this is really satisfying. Thank you, UG, for letting me experience this for free. <laughs> Not often do you get a feel of what I'm feeling here. ASMR, friends. Alright, fresh and clean, smooth matte finish. The tab isn't very heavy either. I see how the pen feels against the surface. Yeah, that feels good. Good to hold, no annoying scratchy noise. Just enough friction and grip. Pretty standard stuff. The tabs also don't feel too loose or clicky. Too bad I don't have any of my other non-display tabs with me at the moment to compare this with as I'm shooting this at my new studio. But this has a standard 10 inch medium size working area. So here's the UG S1060 drawing tab. I've put the purchase link down in the description below if you want to grab it at a discounted price. Now let's connect the USB cable. The C type point is right in the middle at the top. Let's hook it up with a phone at first. So here's my wife's Google Pixel 6a. Let's connect the C type adapter. The wallpaper has been illustrated by my wife. She is an amazing artist. Do subscribe to our channel called Monami Scribblings. Check out our videos and please show some support. Alright, so this can be your setup, but I guess you need to have a vertical orientation for this to work. More like this. The moment you connect them, you'll get a notification for configuring physical keyboard. Switch on the use on-screen keyboard option. You can even check out the default keyboard shortcuts here. And let's try this. Whoa. So all the basic functions like swipes and clicks work very smoothly. I don't know about iPhones, but this definitely doesn't work with my iPad Pro. I mean, why would you even need this for your iPad? It's already a drawing tab anyway. Now let's try connecting this with another Android phone and perform the same setup. At this time I can even see a cursor. How cool is that? This is definitely a first time for me. The swipes and the clicks work really well. Too bad I don't have a proper painting app on my phone at the moment. So no pressure sensitivity here for the time being. Uh, let me try scribbling on a basic app. No delays. I bet this will work really well on proper mobile drawing applications. I'll most likely make a separate video on that. Now, let's hook it up with my laptop and try painting something in Photoshop. Make sure to uninstall all other drawing tab drivers from your computer and download the UG S1060 driver from their website. Install it and calibrate your pen and tab before starting to use it. So all I can say is that I've had a pretty smooth experience using this tab to paint this piece that you're watching right now. I can easily recommend this for students and beginners considering the low price point. The purchase link is in the description down below. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the speed art time lapse. So that's all for now, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about my future uploads. Thanks for watching the video, see you on the next one, peace.